There are more than a billion people on the planet who make their living from the land. They live in forests, they live in coastal communities. They have traditional ways of drawing their food security and livelihoods from the land, their shelter, their sense of place. But oftentimes, they don't have secure rights to their land. This is an enormous problem. If you have secure rights to your land, now you're more likely to have quality access to health care, food security, better education for your kids, women's economic empowerment, and the benefit in the long term is a more stable and peaceful society where deforestation will go down, carbon sequestration will go up, and climate change will be mitigated. I'm Mark West. I work with Landessa. I started in international development work. I quickly learned that I didn't understand these big cultural differences between our legal system and other governments. So I went back to school and now I work with governments and laws and policies in other countries. Landessa's approach focuses on sustainability by working upstream with governments around the world, changing a policy that can affect millions of beneficiaries. These communities now have secure control over the most important asset in their lives, their land. My name is Nodati, and I'm regional program manager for Landessa. I grew up in Myanmar, so I know from my childhood how crucial land rights are. People behavior change. When they get land rights, they make investments for the sustainable future. Before working with lenders, I thought attracting foreign direct investment would transform the country economy, but food aids or single water pump don't make sustainable change. A year later, people get better poverty. Securing land rights can create a sustainable and durable change. Behind me is a mangrove forest that the people uh, manage and protect. It's very important that uh, community get their voice in the decision-making process. The more we can build ownership, the more the local people will protect their own forest and natural resources. My name is Ning Jarwan Enright. I work as a community coordinator in Southern Thailand. The few housing here, they built in the very simple way and fit with the environment. The main materials from the wood, from the mangrove, you can see the canal that people access to going in and out to the sea, go out fishing. Mangrove is a good source for the seafood and the good building materials. The fishing community use the tannin for the fishing net dye. Local people use the natural color from the bark for their clothes. They also have ecotourism and all these can secure income for the local people. Mangroves have a very important role for protection from storm, tsunami, erosion control, and the capacity to absorb 10 times more carbon than upland forests. The areas where we're working in Southeast Asia, the amount of carbon sequestered in those areas is about a billion metric tons. About 70 million people are living in the coastal areas. The loss of those mangroves would be devastating for those areas in terms of the fishing that is lost, the biodiversity that is lost, but also for the world because the world doesn't need another billion metric tons of carbon released into the atmosphere. The Global South is receiving the brunt of impacts from climate change, and yet they have been producing such a small amount of emissions compared to the Global North. So it's extremely important to invest in the Global South as a place where people can benefit economically from their traditional areas. Before, the government did not recognize how important it was to have our local community be involved in protection or management of their own area. Now that our local community rights have been recognized, 
we can be part of the planning, what to do, how do you protect, how do you utilize the resources in your own forest. The women from the community told me that in the past, we used to worry who will come and occupy our lands and to uh, get out, this not belong to you, it's belong to me. Now I can declare to anyone that this is my land, this is my farm. Over the last 40 or 50 years of Landessa's work, half a billion people have received secure land rights, but there are still half a billion more. What's next for us is to continue doing what we're doing and partner with more organizations so we can really amplify the impact.